Hello everyone, welcome to Fruit Realm, and today I'm going to be showing you this lovely garden area, or indoor garden area. I don't know exactly what it's called, but this is what I'm going to be showing you today, and all the cool things that you can do with the mini blocks. All these mini blocks, they have, they're have they really cool, and hopefully you can check out Foxy Notel and his video, his videos that he's done on them. So let's get right into it. Five things that you can do with mini blocks in your garden area. So number one, it's uh, really easy. All you gotta do, if you wanna make a tiny little tree, instead of just getting like a normal pot, um, wherever the pots are, oh, they're right there. So you normally, if you wanna make a little tree, you get a pot and you grab maybe a sapling or another flower or something, and you place it down like this. Yeah, it, it looks fine, but something I prefer, if it, you want it in like a stage two growth, you do something like this. This is, so you get a oak, mini log mini block you get a fence post and you get a bunch of leaves and you do the 8-bit texture for those which is the magenta dye because that changes them um you can do either way i just prefer the little little bit more pixelated 8-bit texture but it's a really easy way to make a really cool flower pot instead of using the normal flower pot i i don't know it looks fine but i just prefer this version and also the log is a uh, 8-bit texture as well. I just think it looks better, a little bit more flat. It doesn't look as detailed. Um, so you can do that. Something else I did is that fences normally connect to the walls, but I used a mini block behind so it does not connect. Unfortunately, there is no um, the stripped oak log mini block. If there was, I would have put it right there and it, this wouldn't have connected. So if you want to put it like just kind of by itself, that works just great. Now moving on to tip number two if you want really cool lighting you can put the sea lantern mini block up in the ceilings um it's something really small you can do but if you get a, a light block um like the light bulbs you can actually give them light so they actually work they're really cool it's just a small little detail thing that just makes your world seem a little bit more lifelike because if it's nighttime the plants get can't get their light so you can have some kind of lantern to light something up there I just really like putting the sea lanterns a little bit in the ceiling. All you gotta do is use the, doo -doo 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 -doo. I think it's the purple or pink dye, and you can make it micro if you want to, and then all you gotta do is move it up and down. So you just boop, 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 and then you move it up as far as you want. I prefer mine about, it's a little flower, but something like that, and that works great. Now moving on to tip number three, we have the dirt that has spilled over. So. Right here, as you realize, there is a trapdoor, and there's no trapdoor on this block, and it's just weird. But it's hard to do when you're just sitting there. Like, you can't put a trapdoor right here, no matter how hard you try. And I thought it looked a little barren, so I got the spruce planks mini block, and I placed it right there, made it big, lowered it down a little bit, and so it's a little table. But the dirt has kind of spilled off, or you're planting it, or something like that. And I used the dirt mini block, and I used the magenta dye on the texture, shrank it down, and well, just moved it, and then changed the dye to the 8 bit texture. Or used the dye to change it to the 8 bit texture. So that's just something else you can add that just adds a lot more depth, because you can't get this many layers of dirt. Like, as you can see, this one is low, this one goes slightly higher, and that one is the highest of them all. There's a lot of variation you can do like that. It's really cool. Now, moving on to step no tip number four. It is this one. So, composters are really cool and you can fill them up. But, another way to fill them up is with actual melons or pumpkins. They're really cool to use. And, instead of just putting, like, you know, it's just filled up. You actually have a pumpkin sitting in there or a watermelon sitting in there. It just adds a little bit more life to it. Because if you walked in, you wouldn't see that unless you walked close. But as you can see, you can see that a watermelon is sticking out of it. And then maybe this one will go on top. Or you can move them around and do a lot of cool things with that. But it's just something simple to add a little bit more life and just a little bit more depth to your builds. Because this isn't like just a melon on top. Because, yeah. So you use a mini block. You can shrink it down. You could also use the micro mini block. Shrink it down even further using the white dye. And... And now it's tiny and you could fill the whole thing with tiny little melons or you can just use the normal one which i prefer oh no it's got stuck it got stuck in there but you can make it bigger do whatever you want with that 
Now, moving on to tip number five. You may think this is the last one, but we got an extra bonus one. So this is, as you can see over here, it's a little clustered. Hold on. Let's break a little bit of that. So as you can see, this is a vine growing up from around the pool and up to the window to get sunlight. This is really easy to do. Um, all you got to do is grab the birch leaves or any other kind of leaves. I just want to use birch because these ones are already oak and I felt like using oak twice wouldn't be super great. But something with this one that's a little bit unique is that I used different dyes. Um, as you kind of seen before, I only use the micro, the big size, the brown, the red, the orange, the lime, the cyan, the purple, the magenta, and the pink. However, there's something really cool you can do with the yellow, the green, and the blue dyes. And these rotate them on an axis. See, look at that. You can move them around, you can have them be a lot more fun, and you can, you can mess with them a lot, actually. There's a lot of cool things you can do, and it's just a lot different. So it now actually looks like a curving vine and it's all kind of a mess and a jumble. It's really cool. And that's just a simple way you can add a nice little vine or some kind of plant life. You could also do like vines hanging down from the from the roof or from the tree. Um, you could do that. You could add tiny little blocks connecting them to make them a little, the leaves look a little bit more fluffy. There's a lot of things you can do with that. And now for the final little bonus tip, I just didn't think it was like super amazing, but as you can see, this is a root or a log coming out from the tree. And normally you have to do something like this. You have to put like a slab and a dark oak or wood connecting it, kind of making it look like a root. However, with this, you can do so much. As you can see, it's a little bit offset from what normally is. And it's like three fourths of a block. It, you can make three fourths blocks with these. It's really cool. And you can make them even smaller and you can make it fit in and you can do something like that that has like a root or something like that. It's really cool. I would say it's a little bit harder to do up in the branches, but if you did a whole tree made out of this, it would look amazing because you would have, it would just be a little bit more in depth. There's just so much you can do with these. Or you can be, make it like a log. And if you want to sit right here, now you're sitting on a log because that's cool. Like maybe you're out in the campfire and you just want to sit on a tiny little log or something. So that's something you can do. It's really cool. So thank you all for watching. There, the mini blocks are awesome. And if you haven't seen these other mini block videos, check them out. They are really cool. Like this one is the globe one. And I'll give you a sneak peek of one coming up really soon. Yep, yep, you see it, you saw it. But anyway, thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed these. Check out the playlist. And we'll see you next time on Fruit Realm. Thank you again to Foxy No Hotel. These are awesome. I've had so much fun with these. So, yeah. Thank you. Bye.